Good morning, folks. We've got top news in seismology, cosmology, paleoclimate, and galactic astrophysics. It is also the last day to begin the verification process for what could be the first and only lottery for observer ranch units. We're starting at spaceweathernews.com and find the last 24 hours on our star were very quiet. In the opening, we saw only minor filament activity. It's pretty much the story across our star. The coronal hole stream is plateaued, and we can see that pattern here. Yellow density shock hit first, then in purple and green below, plasma speed and temperature began to rise afterwards. If it had been a CME, all telemetry would have changed at the same time. But with a coronal hole stream, the density shock is out ahead of the faster particles. They catch up, bunch up, leading to a higher density front that leads into the faster and hotter coronal hole solar wind stream afterwards, but it has less density. Let's start the articles nice and easy, looking at how forests behave quite differently across the world. Even in parts of neighboring forest areas, we see tremendous differences in how they treat the local atmosphere. Let's jump next to Cascadia and find that the land change due to erosion doesn't match long-term accumulated changes. This implies that major events imparted quick changes of greater magnitude. I love how earthquakes is merely one of the options they give at this major fault zone. Up next, we're zooming into the Fornax cluster of galaxies. Veteran observers recall how we've seen dust hide charged particles, hide electric current, helping to not only hide the plasma, but belie the electromagnetic effects of the current. Today, we've got a new trick for the dust, hiding metal in Fornax. Not only has it been keeping secrets from the cosmologists, but it's a hard fox to catch as well. Every technological increase has revealed incredibly much more dust, and nobody in astronomy is betting against that for the next generation, James Webb and the Vera Rubin Observatory. We are stepping down from the cosmic scale to galactic astrophysics in our Milky Way. The new Faraday sky maps are out and they show much of what we've seen before. These maps are not quite as good for spotting the galactic sheet amidst the midplane as the gamma return maps, because when looking for magnetic character, the current sheet will really only be revealed coming at you. And most of all, the 60 to 90 degree distance away from the galactic center, both in the faint total returns and the excess brightness configuration, we can still make out that up and down even though it's not what this was designed to find. Again, not as good as the clear wave and peak point seen in gamma returns, but truly not bad. And last but not least, freshwater seas at the Arctic. The imagination runs with the potential triggers and spins out when we find ourselves due for another round based on the tenuous period of return from the last one. About 70,000 years after the first one they found, another one appears in the record, and we're at that same time period away from the last one, which also matches the time period of terrible earth conditions that followed the eruptions of Toba. And when they say in the paper, there's a high potential for fresh water to rapidly enter and change the oceans, I remember the Beaufort Gyre's current record freshwater hold waiting to unleash in what Yale called the cold climate bomb and I think to myself, yep. For those hoping to make what could be the first and only lottery for long-term units at Observer Ranch, deadline to begin verification at the accredited button is today. Lottery is coming on the 14th. For those visitors expecting to be there on the 9th, that's five days away, nature will be standing next to me to greet you at the ranch. It's going to be cold. The entire attire, including shoes, should be a consideration. Oh yeah, and 70 cattle will be grazing, so 5 miles per hour only. We greatly appreciate your support. Subscribe and we'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now, it's 5.05 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.